You don't need a helicopter to get around Salisbury Plain, but just getting from A to B is not the real point. These troops were dropped onto the plane this morning to rehearse a joint strike operation, watched by the man who will command them in Helmand. Uh, out of missing out. They will be responsible for the sharpest end of British operations in Afghanistan this autumn. Operations that, if all goes to plan, should mostly be the preserved of Afghan forces. We'll be there primarily as the Task Force Helmand Reserve. And, you know, Afghanistan, while its security is improving greatly, uh, can, you know, remain a dangerous place. And therefore, we need to practice both the high end, as you say, uh, skills, uh, but also, and you'll see later on, some of the softer skills as well. His armoured infantry company will be supported by Warthog and Warrior armoured vehicles. The Warrior group are due to deploy next month, some of the very first to go out on Herrick 19. We're based uh, in Lash Dry. Uh, and from there we'll be moving up and down the 601, 611 uh, and protecting anything we need to. Uh, as you know, ANSF are leading stuff out there now uh, and we're just there to help them out. Herrick 19 will formally begin in October with 6,000 troops, but that number will steadily fall because of the drawdown. For some, it will mean a swift return to the UK. For others, a longer eight-month tour. It's going to be a bit longer. Uh, obviously, when you get to, uh, to the end of your six-month tour, you're like, can't wait to go home. It's just going to have to push another three months, if it is an uh, eight, nine month tour. There are certain aspects of Afghanistan that you cannot recreate on Salisbury Plain. The extremes of temperature, the constant dust. But in truth, nobody knows exactly what will happen on the eight months of Operation Herrick. The idea is to prepare people as best they can for that which is expected, so that they're as equipped as they possibly can be for the unexpected. James Hurst, Forces News, Salisbury Plain.